Hello everyone, good morning. So today we are here for a conversation around what Singtel has been doing around our Paragon platform strategy and how do we differentiate our connectivity offerings. My name is Manoj Prasanna Kumar. I am the CTO of Singtel's Digital Infra Co. Opco, an Opco that Singtel recently created to primarily focus on all non-core carriage business like data centers, AI clouds, software platforms, satellites and subsea cables and all of the global business of Singtel. With me, I would uh, pass the mic to, for, to my friend to introduce herself. Hello, my name is Aurélie. I'm uh, heading the solution team within the OSS PSS portfolio at Ericsson. Well, uh, if I were to talk about Paragon platform, I really have to go backwards uh, three or four years. So back in 2020, when Singtel was doing our groundwork uh, to bid for the spectrum, we quickly realized that uh, to roll out 5G is going to cost us a few billion dollars, even though Singapore, many, many of you may argue that Singapore is a tiny city state, but still it takes a few billion dollars for any carrier to roll out a standalone 5G network across the entire country. So when we did our analysis, it quickly came out that uh, consumer is going to be a medium to long-tailed recovery of our investments and enterprise is the way to go because enterprise customers really have mission critical use cases that warrant uh, low latency and that warrant high throughput which are the primary characteristics that a 5G standalone network can enable. So in order to kind of find a differentiated play in monetizing for the enterprise market, we strategized how do we move up the value chain beyond the connectivity layer which is what telcos have been doing in the 4G and 3G world. So then came uh, in our minds a very good strategy where we wanted to put together a platform that will help us enable, unlock value-added services around the core connectivity offerings, services like slicing, services like network analytics, and also including compute, storage, and AI as critically adjacent revenue streams to connectivity, and a software platform that will help us orchestrate connectivity and compute together as a mission-critical digital infrastructure to help enterprise customers deploy their mission critical applications without having to worry about how the infrastructure is gonna perform, how the network is gonna perform, and purely allowing customers to focus on the application layer and the business logic of the mission critical applications that they're trying to build. And this is really why we created the vehicle called Paragon that will help us move up the value chain from connectivity layer all the way to infrastructure layer and application layer and unlock more critically adjacent revenue streams to the core connectivity offerings that we roll out with our standalone 5G offering. Service orchestration and assurance is really at the core of differentiated connectivity. Uh, Manoj just talked about how the network becomes very flexible in order to be able to expose all those different differentiated connectivity services. And with that flexibility also comes with a required complexity. And you're going to need orchestration to help you to turn on all of those differentiated services that Manoj was talking about and have them really personalize differentiated. Um, the assurance part is actually what's going to help you to monetize the differentiated connectivity because you want the user to be able to pay premium for those services and they're not going to be paying premium if you just offer it be best effort. So with assurance and making sure that you can guarantee that differentiated connectivity, you have the full loop. Differentiated connectivity is a very important uh, strategy that every CSP should have in order to maximize the outcomes that they can yield from their network investments. So in Singtel, how we see differentiated connectivity, we purely focus on quality of service and we take network slicing as a key driver to unlock value out of our network. So let me give you a, a simple real life example. Let's take a, a simple enterprise use case like drones. Right? There are many customers who fly drones for a variety of purposes like surveillance, like doing video analytics, uh, and so on. Right? So if you take, on average, any drone, when it is docked in its charging pod, 
it doesn't require a lot of uplink it doesn't require a lot of downlink and it doesn't need to be on a differentiated connectivity or a differentiated slice the same drone when it goes up in the air and it starts to perform its planned flight and it starts to perform whatever is doing be it surveillance or video analytics it is uploading a lot of data into the cloud and the cloud can be a public cloud or an edge cloud and a lot of mission critical things like video analytics are done in order to kind of make real time decisions while the drone is still in the air so this is the critical time period when the drone needs a really differentiated connectivity service from csps so and when the drone lands back again the drone doesn't need differentiated connectivity anymore and if csps enable a differentiated offering to use cases like drones where the applications are able to consume differentiated connectivity at the time they need for the duration they need and for the volume they need and they only pay for what they use and for the duration they use that unlocks a totally different value for the enterprises from csps and that is a very good and innovative way on how csps can look at rolling out differentiated connectivity services in the enterprise market Okay, so uh, I'm going to talk about three focus area. I think the first one is to try to attract application developer. And this is one of the challenges that we are addressing with the collaboration together with Singtel. Because it's very important for the application developer to see those network and service API completely transparently and reach it enough of subscribers so it brings value to them to be onboarded on those platforms. So a lot of work right now is a CSP to get the application developer onto the platform. Uh, the second thing I would mention is the uh, around the regulation. There is a lot of uh, regulation that changes from country to country, in particular on how you manage data, because the data that we're exposing from the network, at the end of the day, lots of it is consumer data, like their location. So you have a lot of work around consent and other uh, kind of application that's going to help to manage that uh, data privacy. And if we look just purely on the API, I would say that we started by seeing a lot of word, uh, work around fraud management, for example, um, location also use cases, but we do see an, an evolution right now more towards OSS and BSS use cases. Uh, in the BSS, you have know your customer type of uh, information that are being exposed from the network. And on the OSS is very much around slicing, exposing the different connectivity, differentiated connectivities that you, you were mentioning. So we're working very closely in that domain. Thank you, Thank you very much.